What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Different. Welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. Got to get some light. I'm here trying to go vote. Um, uh, it's out here in Houston, November 7th. I know I'm late, y'all, but I'm five minutes before the polls close. I had to come all the way on this side of town to where I used to stay. Let me back up so you guys can see the light. Yeah. So I'm about to go see if I can do the voting real quick. I got like four minutes to spare. I don't think I can take the video in there. So while you do that, you guys check out my little uh, video I found on YouTube with this clip uh, informing y'all on the importance of, of what is the electoral college vote. So once I'm done, I come back and vote. She opened the door for me. Okay. All right. Hi. Right. Gotta go, y'all. There you go. I'm just not making it. It's 6.57. See? You gotta exercise your right to vote. Exercise your right to shut the fuck up. Hi, is this where they do the voting? All right, thank you. Yeah, three minutes to spare. Yeah, man. <laughs> Still count. Yeah, wild time. Right. Let's come all the way on this side of town. You ain't here in county, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I go anywhere, right? Uh, early voting. Early voting. You say you need an S or What's or R. State of residence. Are you still right at this? Yeah. So you stay at this residence on here? Yeah. It's been tri tripping like that all day. It's been tripping like that all day. Especially like when we got a uh, you know, this, this you actually is something that is worth it. Oh yeah. Especially when we got a uh, uh, front that's a uh, representation card. Huh. Wake up on any back.
All right, everybody. So I just got through uh, voting. Um, if you guys didn't get a chance to today uh, to get out and vote, uh, man, sucks for y'all, but I got mines. I had to rush all the way over town, had three minutes to spare. I got here like 6.57. And um, they let me come on in. There was a little issues with my ID, but they still let me vote. Um, again, sometimes I feel like voting helps, and sometimes I don't. But one thing about it is, if you can't, you know, complain about the problem, if you're not going to be trying to be a part of the solution. So that's why, you know, I exercise my right to vote. Other than that, you know, if you don't, then exercise your right to shut the fuck up. And so, you know, we out here um, at the schoolhouse. So coming and getting my vote in, if you guys haven't got a chance to, be sure to do so. Um, definitely want to get out and show my support for uh, Sheila Jackson Lee, a uh, pillar in the Houston community. It's been around for years and years. Um, so I'm happy to show my support for her and her run for the mayor of Houston position. And so hopefully she gets it. And so... That being said, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to get out and vote and get your voices heard when it comes to, you know, elections and political views. Try to see the light so you guys can see me. Um, as well as, again, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at that uh, video clip I found off of YouTube uh, explaining uh, what is the Electoral College and how it affects uh, voting. So if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check them out and show them some love, after you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I got to be real quick about this. I got a short amount of time. So if you guys, you know, like this video, show me, or, you know, if you guys have voted, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel, as well as don't forget to check out uh, my website, Different world.net and check out all my other social media handles my instagram my uh uh tiktok and especially my youtube uh what else we got you guys going on uh again anybody looking for motivation speakers get at your girl book me there uh usually we do the uh mental health challenge so i'm gonna do that a little later uh or again just refer for anybody out there that's uh, going through any type of mental anguish to again uh remember that it's okay to not be okay but don't ever sit there and not be okay go get help for those that may out there that may need these mental health resources use it or feel free to share it with others crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or go online to 988lifeline.org or mentalhealthishealth.us and remember it's okay to not be okay but don't ever sit there and not be okay go get help you guys as well as uh, and just doing it so quickly because I'm about to run out of time uh, my book What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is available on my website differenceworld.net so get your copy of that and again you guys be sure to hit that like share comment and subscribe button and I'm out Difference World come and learn peace What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.